Island Mystery Theatre presents... Murder in the Cove. Island Mystery Theater is brought to you by Island City Radio. Murder in the Cove was written by Freddy Gutierrez and Valencia Parker, starring Tammy Townsend, Avery Kid Waddell, Sala Baker, Cisa Gray, Tulia Sao, Silulu Aetonu Gray, Chris Denson, Joey Kanga, DJ Green, and Liz Hodges. Produced by Kevin Clayton of I Am Music Studios. None of this would be possible without our friends from Alpha Maui 808, Hiroshki Bakery Brothers, Divine Distillers, and World Saki Imports. And now, for our show. Tulunalu, a remote island in the Pacific, filled with white sand beaches and coconut trees swaying. A home to seafaring peoples who have mastered the waves and harnessed the wind. A safe haven to those seeking shelter from torrential downpour of stress and anguish of living in the modern world. And though this island provides sanctuary for many, Tulunalo can also be a mirage in the desert for those who do not abide by its rules and customs. For what seems like paradise for those who visit can also be a dark and sinister rendezvous where the sins of your past can finally catch up to you and extract its pound of flesh. We begin our story on the airport runway where Sheriff Leilani and Miss Twila watch passengers disembark a plane that just landed. Welcome visitors to the island of Tulunalu. A full flight? Nah, looks like it's gonna be a good week for you, Miss Jawila. If I get these tourists to buy enough drinks at my resort bar, it could be a good week for you too, Sheriff. Mm-mm. I'd rather give out jaywalking tickets than have a jail full of drunk palangis. They cry so much. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. Look, another plane is landing. That's odd. I didn't get a notice of any private plane scheduled. Oh, wait. It's Corbin Costin's plane. He usually calls to let me know he's coming. This can't be good. That man is trouble. He may be rich and powerful, but all his billions cannot rid him of the darkness that follows him whenever he comes here. No good, that one. For the money he spends when he's here, a temporary eclipse of our good energy is well worth the trouble. I don't know. I think you're wrong, Mr. Tewila. His money is temporary, but the shadow he casts lingers long after he's left our Aina. <sighs> Sorry I'm late, Mr. Tewila. I-, I was getting the boats ready for the Black Coral Tour. You know, I like these boats look perfect for the tourists. No cutting corners at the Black Coral Resort. Cut the crap, core. Sheriff Leilani and I aren't one of these starry-eyed local girls who fall for your sweet talk. I know you were on the other side of the island getting boochie boochie at Auntie's Bake Shop. <laughs> Come on, Miss T. I've only been back on island for a couple of months and Auntie's boochie boochie sells out so quick if I don't get there first. But these hollies no can wait five minutes. Did you at least bring us some? <laughs> Why didn't you get caught with the evidence? Man, I'm too smart for that. But surprisingly, she had some left today. Hey, if you were smart, you'd know that a couple of Bucci Bucci would smooth things over with the both of us, eh? Huh? <laughs> Let me get back to work. Go! Behave and be nice to the tourists. They're why this island thrives. And Miss T, try and keep that darkness relegated to your resort. Aloha! Eh, see you later. Cool. I need to handle Mr. Colston and get him settled. I'll meet you back at the resort. Roger that. Okay, everybody, ready to head to the Black Coral Resort? Then why are you waiting? Get on the bus. Mr. Colston, welcome back to Tulunalu. You didn't call. I would have made sure that your usual arrangements were waiting for you. The trip to Singapore ended quicker than I expected, so 
I thought I'd take some time here before heading back to Los Angeles. Oh, I hope your trip went well in Singapore. That's none of your concern, Miss Tewila. I'd appreciate you keeping your nose out of my business. That's why I pay you what I do, for discretion. Then don't fly here in the middle of the damn day. Excuse me, did you say something? I said my car is this way. Attentive as always. Oh, by chance, do you think there's any Bucci Bucci left at Auntie's Bakery? Nope, all gone. As Miss Tuila handles the VIP like a priceless artifact she wishes she could smash, Court turns on the charm for the tourists. Aloha, Talofa, and off a day. My name is Kor, and welcome to the island of Tulu Nalu. If you've been here before, hey, turn off your ears and don't listen, yeah? For the rest of you, here's some facts about our home. You see, right before WW2, Tulu Nalu was a deserted island. But since the Japanese were starting to ramp up for the war, the U.S. decided to populate it with people so the Japanese could claim it for their own. But of course, you guys in the U.S. don't like put any of your own people in danger. So they gathered up families from Hawaii, American Samoa, and Guam and told them, Hey, this your new home. And all kind of years later, we still here. Oh, oh, uh, excuse me, quick question. Uh, did the Japanese ever take over the island during World War II? Oh, good question. No. Wait, that's it? Oh, bruh, you want a history lesson or you like me to tell you all the good places on the island for get busy with your wife in private? Uh, both? Really? <laughs> oh, Terrence, leave the boy alone. Let him do his job. Quit interrupting him. Candace, baby, look, I'm just trying to soak up the local culture, get the vibe of the island, you know? Be a traveler, not a tourist. <laughs> okay, Anthony Bourdain, you need to cool it. <laughs> We're out here to celebrate, and I want to turn this island out. You know what I'm saying, baby? <laughs> oh, I do, baby, yes. We are both killing it at our jobs with both of us getting big promotions. Mm. It's time for us to spend some money, oh yeah. But let a brother get a little culture, would you? I mean, hey, you could stand to get some too, like uh, learning how to hula, huh, baby? You know how sexy you would look. If you could hula. <laughs> I do. <laughs> and do you know how much more sexy I would look developing all this beachfront property? I mean, baby, I could put a whole community of condos and make a killing. I mean, look at these beaches. They are amazing. Yeah, they are. Uh, sorry for the eavesdrop, but we do have some of the best beaches on the planet. That's why only people with family roots on the island are allowed to buy property. Too bad for you, huh? Damn! Black folks can't catch a break anywhere, can we? Nope. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we've arrived. Welcome to the Black Coral Resort, the only place on Earth where black coral still exists. Tours are scheduled daily to visit the reserve here in the lagoon. Please head to the front desk and get checked in. And don't forget, the cultural dance show for dinner will be at 7.30 tonight. Oh, wow, look at this place. Talk about fancy. You know what, baby? You did good. You did good, because this is a trip we're going to be able to brag about. <laughs> All right. Your man knows what's up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot, baby, look. I think I left something on the bus. Uh, hold on. I'll be right back, okay? Okay. Hey, uh, Koa, look. I don't have much time. My wife thinks I forgot something on the bus. Let me guess. You like Pacololo? Y huh? Weed. You want some weed? Uh, what? Why? Because I'm a black man, you think I smoke weed? Nah, bruh. Because you're sneaking around like some kind of James Bond secret agent. Y yeah. All right. Well, look. Anyway, a buddy of mine was here a few years ago, all right? And he told me about a secret poker game off the resort. I have a feeling you know about it. Oh, you like gamble, huh? Yeah, there's a few games going on. So what, you like play with big kind money, medium kind money, or small kind money? Oh, come on now. What do I look like? Uh, let's go with medium for now. <laughs> Roger that. I'll get you the info at dinner tonight. Okay, I appreciate it. Hey, and this is all on the down low, right? My wife isn't really a fan of me gambling, you know what I'm saying? Of course. 
my lips are like butt cheeks in prison, bruh. Closed tight. Cool. Okay. Um, <clears throat> now, about that weed. On the other side of the parking lot, Mr. Wheeler arrives with Corbin Colston, who was immediately whisked away and taken to his suite. But someone seems to have noticed as Candace approaches Mr. Wheeler. Excuse me, who is that man? I'm sorry. Our guest's privacy is taken very seriously here at my resort. Oh, you know what? That's cool. That's cool. I mean, it's probably not who I thought it was anyway, because that would be crazy. Wait a minute. Did you say this is your resort? I did. I'm Miss Tewila, the owner. This must be your first time to our island. Well, look at that. A female owner of a major resort. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm Candace, by the way. And yes, this is my first time here. But you know what? I have a feeling it's not going to be my last. This place is gorgeous. Hey, hey who's this? Baby, this is Miss Tay Wee Wee. She owns a resort. <laughs> it's Tay Wee Love. Okay, well, it's nice to meet you. I'm Terrence Littleton, Candace's husband. It's nice to meet you both. Please, enjoy your stay, and if you like, have a drink at the bar on me. Just let them know I sent you. Oh, cool. So, Miss Tequila, please tell me that you have the kind of drinks that are all tropical and fruity and get you lit real quick. It's Tequila, Mrs. Littleton. And yes, we do. It's our specialty. Well, okay then. Let's get this trip started right. Why don't you come and join us? I'm afraid I can't. I have business to attend to. Maybe I'll see you at dinner. As Candace and Terrence head to the bar and Miss Wheeler attends to her business, Cor heads to the dock. Hey, Makani, why are you out fishing? You know my own shift today. Hey, it's Deputy Makani to you, Koa. And I'm on my lunch break. I promised my mom some fresh fish for dinner. Oh, wow, bro. You're cheap. The market get plenty of fish fresh caught this morning. It tastes better when it's free. Caught two atu today, see? Hey, how's the water? Maybe I'll let go later. Pretty good if you stay close to the point. A point? Bro, you lolo for going over there. Bad things happen to people who fish over that side. That's all myths and legends, Kazi. Deputy Makani! I've been looking all over for you. We need to go. Mr. Titano's cow got out again, and it's tearing up his neighbor's garden. Bro, cows in the garden? Am I a cop or a paniolo? No, oh, you should be happy. Cows don't shoot back. Hey, whatever. Hurry up, Makani! Hey, do me a solid and take this attitude to put it in the freezer at the resort. I'll come and get it later. Oh, not working for you too. Uh, quit crying and do your civic duty and help out an officer of the law. <laughs> really? As night falls on Tulunalu, the locals and guests of the island said it went to a night of fun, work, or quiet. Baby, you ready for dinner? Almost. Let me grab my purse. Oh, wow. Look at you. You look amazing. Thanks. Oh, okay. So I'm going to need you to help me keep an eye out for Miss Tallulah because I really want to talk to her about creating some timeshares for the resort. <sighs> okay. Uh, first off, it's Tawila. Mm -hmm. You might want to get her name right if you want to talk business with her. All right. Secondly, timeshares here? Come on, baby. Isn't that kind of spoiling the aura of this place? Not if you do it right. And you know I do everything right. Oh, yeah. Except pronounce people's names right. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Come on, let's go. <laughs> I can't wait to see these dances, especially if they all look like The Rock and Jason Momoa. Oh, fine. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> you can have your Rock and Momoa, but you know these island girls have made sailors jump ship for hundreds of years. I'm just saying. And I'm just saying, shut up. Come on, let's go. Get beside yourself. <laughs> Meanwhile, at the police station, Sheriff Leilani and Makani exit her Jeep and head inside. <laughs> Good work with that cow today, Makani. Hey, 
I know you think what we do here is boring and beneath you, but it's important work. It may not be exciting, but it also means we don't have the serious crimes that plagues the mainland either. I'll take boring any day if it means we keep Tulu Nalu that way. I get it, sis. I had enough craziness with three tours in Iraq. The cows in the gardens? Or with cups of ranches? Relax, Makani. Tulu Nalu has a way of giving you what you want. You just have to be patient. Patience isn't one of my assets, Sheriff. Uh, you do you, Makani. Just don't say I didn't warn you, eh? Uh, you wanted to see me, Mr. Colston? I'm in the mood for something less than legal tonight. I don't care what it is. Just make sure I have a good time, Kola. Oh, I can make it happen. You know, what kind of preferences you get? You, you like talking female company, male company, something else kind of company? Look, I don't judge. I just suggest using safe words. No, no, no. no nothing sexual. Just find me something worth being excited for. Oh, it's funny you say that. I think I have just the thing for you. As night falls, the sounds of laughter and music blend seamlessly with the waves of the ocean until it is interrupted with the sounds of murder. Henry, it's 3 a.m. here in Tulumalu, but I've had such a good night. And <laughs> yes, yes, that sound you hear is the ocean. I'm taking a walk on the beach. I like to enjoy it when no one is around. Anyway, I thought I'd call you to let you know that I've decided to take your offer. Let's let's do the deal. <laughs> yes, I knew that would make your day. Okay, I'll speak to you when I'm back in LA. Excuse me, this part of the beach is private. You can't be here. Wait, what are you doing with that? No, no. As the sun begins to rise, so do the locals and the guests of Tulunalu. Oh my God, I can't believe we're up this early. I mean, what an amazing show last night, right? And I had way too much to drink. Oh, don't I know it. I had to put you to bed. <laughs> hey, but look, on the way back to the room, I overheard one of the waiters tell some guests that if you wake up early and go to the beach, you can see some amazing stuff. Really? Like what? Like dolphins and turtles. They love to come up close to shore during the early morning. Hey, good morning, Miss Che Wele. <laughs> you you're getting close. Listen, um, you know, I didn't I didn't get a chance to thank you for last night. We really had a blast. <laughs> I know, I saw. You know, you could be a good hula dancer. Your hands can really tell a story. Oh, don't I know. Terrence! What? I'm talking about the hula dance. <laughs> anyway, if you head about a hundred yards that way. You'll find Lover's Cove, a beautiful lagoon where the dolphins and turtles come out. Ooh, let's go, Terrence. Oh, yeah, that sounds good to me. Hey, thanks, Mr. Wheeler. Of course. Enjoy. How come he can say it right? Mr. Wheeler. Paul, what are you doing here? You're supposed to be out on the water with Mr. Colston. That's why I'm here. I can't find him. I went to his room this morning, and he's not there. I looked everywhere for him. Candice, come on! Candice, Terrence, are, are you okay? What's the matter? Look. Oh, shit. It's Mr. Colston, and that bugger is dead. It looks like he, he's been stabbed in the chest. As they watch Mr. Colston's body float in the water, blood seeping from his chest, the people of Tulunalu and its guests have no idea of the storm of trouble that is coming. Tune in next week for the next episode of Island Mystery Theater.